Great, so now you know how to have literally the best attentive SMS account ever. But how are you going to actually monitor the performance of your program? So there's two main ways in analytics and attentive. You have your dashboard and you have reports. So first we're gonna cover the dashboard, which really is meant to give you more of a high level overview, quick glance at the performance of your program. And I'll go through each one of these metrics, why they matter and what sort of trends you should be looking for. So first let's go ahead and select the month of May. And we're going to compare that to the previous period. So your first section here, you have subscribers. So it'll give you at a quick glance, your total active subscribers and how many emails you've collected over all time. In May, we received almost 1400 new SMS subscribers, which was about a 74% increase month over month. For SMS unsubscribes, we had about 491, which is a 25% increase month over month. And then for emails collected, we had 73% increase month over month at just about 2,400. Now, only thing that would be concerning here potentially is that the unsubscribes went up. And you can see there's a big spike on May 5th. So maybe we go and look at the campaign volume and messaging for May 5th to see what potentially caused that jump. Maybe it was we sent a campaign out for a product launch to the entire list. So naturally there's just gonna be a little bit of an uptick in unsubscribes. So not too much to worry about here then, but it's important to check in and make sure that it's not trending in a negative direction. Next is revenue. So to show you all time revenue ever made, your revenue per campaign message sent and your revenue per journey message sent. As you can see here, and this is pretty much consistent across all the attentive accounts I've been in, revenue per journey message is going to be substantially higher than revenue per campaign message. Now these will be closer, the tighter and tighter you run like your campaign strategy, but that's why journeys are so important and why you should focus on adding not only the core SMS journeys to your attentive account or SMS marketing platform, but the advanced ones as well, because those are going to drive such a high ROI because they're inherently timely and relevant to the customer because they're based off of customer behavior triggers. So you have revenue here, you see the breakdown of journey versus campaign versus other, and then 12.6% increase month over month. You can see campaigns are down 9% month over month and journeys actually are up 27% month over month. Next is your message send volume. So messages sent just under a hundred thousand campaigns made up about 74,000 of them and journeys made up about 26,000 of them. And then you can also see the split between MMS, SMS, and video. Billable spend. So billable spend is very important to keep track of. And it's not something that you're familiar with if you are used to just email marketing. Because each text that goes out has a cost associated with it, as well as carrier fees. So you can see here, about $66 was spent on MMS, $1,500 on SMS, and $629 on carrier fees. And you can see the breakdown between campaign and journey. Now, billable spend is super important because for one, it impacts your budget, but also you wanna make sure, obviously, your revenue is as high as possible, but your billable spend is as low as possible because then your ROI is gonna be greater. And so it's important to keep track of your billable spend and make sure you're not getting out of control with spending. So that's your analytics dashboard at a glance. And really this is more so meant just to give you a high level overview of the performance of a given month or a given time frame that you want to just quickly jump in and see if there's any potential trends. Next, we'll dive into reports, which are gonna be a lot more granular and more specific.